we didn't win. That's fine. So the question I was going on that particular event, he could have changed lanes and Cheslin could have not fallen over. He maybe did change lanes. It doesn't really matter. We lost. And so from that perspective, you can debate the issue at hand. And I think as, as pundits or people commentating about them, you talk about what could have happened. It didn't happen. Fair play to Ireland. They played, I'd rather look at the way they, like Andy would play the, the double inside ball. Played the double inside ball the previous week, then they played a single inside ball. They scored with both of these moves. It was preset. Uh, I would rather say, it's okay, fine. When our bomb squad didn't, couldn't perform like it did, why not? We got a couple of injuries. What are we going to do next time when we play Ireland? Or the next team when we can't use our bomb squad like we want to use? Where can we um, rather improve from? Because then then it is a positive way of looking at that particular match and saying, okay, when we've got this, what do have, what do we have to do next time? Because that's a solution-based um, uh, yeah, to, to that particular point. And Rossi, the way he looks at it, he doesn't look at a particular thing. He looks at trends within a game. He says, where did we lose momentum? Where did we gain momentum? What was it individual errors? Fine, no problem. That is that is just people make mistakes. People drop a ball. But where did we strategically lose this game? And I don't know what he would say. I, from my perspective, is it's like when we kick on James, yes, the first test match it wasn't that great. The second test match, he was phenomenal there. Maybe we should have changed strategy and kick a, a cross kick and not keep on kicking on him. We got great outside backs, but not the tallest outside backs. Was the kick a little bit too far because how we measure kicking stats because we they measure kicking meters versus running meters. What's the probability of winning? Was the kick too far? Things that he would look at. He wouldn't even focus on that particular issue. I mean, one of the great issues that comes out of, you know, sporting contests like that is, is that, you know, the moments that people produce and uh, Kieran Frawley's two drop goals are just out of the ether almost. And Osborne, a young guy, you know, who's mainly played at centre. I mean, I thought that his performance at fullback was was uh, was pretty phenomenal. I mean, I don't, think, matches. I don't think he dropped a high ball. No, yeah, they, they haven't missed Keenan as much as we thought they would, um, right. which is obviously, you know, no no discredit to Keenan's role in that island side, but all, Osborne is taken to 15 like a duck to water. They, oh, they've they come out with a few more options, haven't they? 